crunch, cracks and pops. What does it mean if my joints pop too easily? Uh, this is the question that I get a lot, especially from a video I made previously about what is the pop uh, when you get an adjustment or kind of pop your own, uh, your own joints or your neck or your knuckles. Um, and what people want to know is, I pop too easily, what does it mean? Uh, should I be concerned about it? And then is there anything I can do to help that so it's not, so it's not like that as much anymore? Um, so first, in the, in the video that people were asking this question, I'll just kind of recap quickly. The pop that you hear with an adjustment or popping your joints or your knuckles, it is when the joints open up. So joints kind of sit on each other when they open up, especially if they open up kind of fast that negative pressure, it pulls gas out of the fluid that's in there. It's called the synovial fluid. That's the stuff that makes things really slippery. And as it pulls that gas out, it makes this like that pop noise that you hear. So the people that do that really easily, they just are stretching and they always are just getting that popping noise. A lot of times it's an indicator that maybe their, um, their ligaments and the capsules that hold the joints together, they're loose, they're lax meaning these people might be like really mobile, hyper-flexible people. Um, as far as is it concerning, uh, should I be really worried about it? I don't think it's overly concerning. It's not something that you should be very worried about. That being said, I will say there is some research that shows that people that are hyper-flexible, hyper-mobile, you know, pop really easily, um, possibly a little less stable and a little bit more of an increased risk for injuring themselves than people that are a little bit more stiff, rigid, and tight, which you wouldn't think that. A lot of times you hear like, oh, if you're tight, that's you're gonna hurt yourself if you're too stiff, if you're too tight. And there, there can be that, but sometimes the people that are really loose or lax, they're equally uh, as likely, and in some cases, possibly more likely to injure themselves. So just something to be aware of, but as far as like overly concerned, is it related to having more, you know, more prevalence of having more severe um, arthritis later on in life, that's unclear. We don't know uh, enough about that. Now, what can you do about it? So since we know it's more instability, strengthening. And I'm not necessarily talking about power lifting or especially not bodybuilding. You wanna do more whole body functional movements. And what I mean by that is, instead of just like the traditional curls for the girls in these isolation single joint movements, you wanna do more whole body movements. You know, So maybe there's some resistance here where we're kind of getting everything involved, where we're pushing and pulling with everything. So functional full body movements with some resistance, uh, it will do two things. It's going to help strengthen those muscles around those joints so to make that more um, stable around the joint. But then also with time exercise, we get more resilience uh, within those joints. Yeah. Um, more resilience within those joints um, so strengthening is probably uh, the best solution for people that are cracking and popping too much. Now, before we end, let's talk about one other thing, and that's something called crepitus, because that is another reason that people might crack or pop or hear these cracks and pops, and it's a little bit different than what I just described. Crepitus is usually not so much that people are too loose and lax and the joints separate too easily and make that popping noise, Crepitus is more of like this grinding noise and you can kind of do it over and over again. It's something that typically happens with arthritis. So now this time, instead of joints opening up too easily, they're actually just more compressed and together. They're really stiff and tight around it. Um, with arthritis, what happens is those surfaces of the joints, instead of being smooth, they get a little bit more rough. And so things kind of just move and grind past each other. You get that kind of grindy noise in through there. Strengthening is, of course, great for anybody of all ages, so you can still do strength training. It's even more of a reason to do more of those functional movements and exercises that I was describing uh, before. But in addition to that, just always staying warm, staying somewhat active, going on walks. Um, the more sedentary you are, the more stiff and uh, rigid you become. Um, and then also, this is the time and the place for things like uh, manual therapies, getting frequent massages, myofascial release, uh, chiropractic adjustments, mobilizations, good stretching routine, things like yoga, uh, 
all of those kinds of things are going to be really good for people with that crepitus. Um, so hopefully that describes the difference between the two types of popping that you might hear uh, as you're moving your spine. Some solutions for both. Uh, as always, if you've got some value out of this video, uh, leave us a comment, you know, like the video or subscribe to our channel.